Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. This tutorial is fully dedicated to M Transition Zoom for DaVinci Resolve. Let's have a look at the project and see some transitions in action. Back in DaVinci Resolve on my edit page, I've got my basic editing with only dissolve at the beginning and the end of the project. This project needs some smooth transitions that will unify the storytelling. To get access to the transitions, you will have to open the FX library. In the toolbox, select the Video Transitions category. Inside, you will have access to all the transitions, the basic one or more advanced. To filter and get only M Transition Zoom content displayed, you just have to type M Transition Zoom in the search field. M Transition Zoom for DaVinci Resolve is not a carbon copy of the first pack on Final Cut Pro. It is a mix of the last three M Transition Zoom packs from Final Cut Pro. You will have access to 50 transitions with various styles and effects. To preview the transition, you just have to skim with a cursor each transition. If you really like one and you want to use it daily, you can click on the star on the right to display it in the favorite section. There are many ways to apply your transitions. First, you can drag and drop it directly on the cut from the list or from the favorite section. You can play it. If you need to change the duration, you can do a right-click and select Change Transitions Duration or use the shortcut Command plus D. Inside the window, you can choose a format, time or frames. Here I will reduce to 12 frames and click on Change. You can also modify the duration inside the inspector. In the Transition tab, you will have a direct access to the duration in seconds or in frames. So here I can go back to 24 frames. In the inspector, you can also choose which kind of alignment you want, start, middle, or end. In almost each preset, you will find a flip direction parameter that you can switch on or off. This parameter will invert the animation, so with the horizontal it can go to the left to the right, to the right to the left. With the vertical animation, you can go up to down, down to up. With zoom, the animation can go forward or backward, and with rotation, it will invert the angle. In this case, I will keep the default animation. For the next transition, I will use a spin around preset. Here, a new way to apply a transition. Position the playhead on the cut, then you just have to double click on the preset, and it will apply it automatically. Depending on your project or your configuration, some transitions may not play in real time. The easiest way to get rid of this is to use a Render Smart Cache feature. Go to the Playback menu, then click on Render Cache and select Smart. DaVinci Resolve will automatically render all the transitions inside the project. So when you have the blue line, it means that the render is done, so we can get real-time playback. Timing is really important to set up a nice transition. It is a good idea to match the transition duration with the footage tempo. Long duration would be best with a slow footage and short duration would be perfect with a fast footage. In this case, the transition is maybe too fast, so I will push the duration to 36 frames. I can play it. It is so much smoother now. Next, I will add another transition with rotation, but this time I will add a custom one. Custom transitions add more controls for the editor. Here, with the preset Rotate Custom, I can see that the pivot point is not at the best place for this transition. So inside the inspector, you will find more controls, like the position X and Y of the pivot, but also the rotation angle. So you can modify them inside the inspector, or you can do it directly inside the viewer. To do so, you just have to select the Fusion Overlay. It will display a small green cross that you can directly modify. I will position it on the couple.
and I will double the rotation angle in the inspector. That's better. If you want to save this transition, you just have to do a right click and select Create Transition Preset. I will modify the name of the new preset and press OK. This transition preset can be selected on the top of the list in the user category. Like all the other transitions, with a right click, you can add it to the favorite section, set it as a standard transition, add it to some clips with in and out points, and for the last option, you can delete it. For the next two cuts, I will use the same transitions preset, the corner zoom. This animation is simple as it will zoom inside one of the four corners of the clip. For the first one, the default values are fine as it will go forward on the left top corner where is the top of the mountain. If I add the same preset on the next cut, it won't fit as I would like to zoom on the top right. But with this preset, there is a drop-down menu that gives you the possibility to choose where you will zoom inside. Here, I will switch to the top right and it's done. For the next cut, I've split a long shot in two parts as it was way too long, but I would like to simulate a drone motion to switch to the second part. To do so, I will use the transitions slide angle. On this one, you will be able to adjust the angle of the pan. With a fusion overlay selected, you can modify the angle directly from the viewer. I will reduce just a little bit the angle to match with the motion of the shot and the position of the boat. Matching the transition movement with the footage movement gives to the edit fine details and makes the overall edit smoother. For the next cut, the change is brutal. I will use a zoom warp preset, which will add some displacement mapping effect, like a ripple on the water. As there are a zoom and a rotation, we can see in the inspector that we have two options to invert the two animations. Flip direction will invert the motion from forward to backward, and the angle will invert the rotation angle. Next, I will add a crash zoom effect with a zoom diagonal preset. Simple and easy to use. For the last cut, I will add a swap vertical preset. This one will add a nice vertical distortion effect. It is a little bit too fast, as the last shot is a steady shot, so I will increase the duration to 24 frames. Perfect. M Transition Zoom brings to DaVinci Resolve 50 advanced transitions with nice effects like distortions, blur, and many more. Transitions that you can easily customize to match with your footage. To get more information and details, I will invite you to visit motionvfx.com and subscribe to the YouTube channel where you will find many tutorials for DaVinci Resolve and the plugins. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.